In this video, I want to show you a simple example of a nested XLOOKUP function. Now XLOOKUP is covered again in some of our other blogs and YouTube videos on our website www.jplcomputer.uk It's a fairly new function and a very flexible one too. So here we have a set of data. In column A we have quote numbers, in column B quote values. Occasionally you've got more than one value per quote. Now we're looking for the lowest value in column B first of all then secondly the associated quote number with that lowest value. So we're going to use two functions in terms of the build-up. The simple one first. Here we have in cell E2 a really simple min function. What is the lowest value in column B? 1213. So 1213 is the lowest value in the whole of column B. We can already see the associated quote number should be 1009. So let's have a look in a bit more detail now at cell D2, which gives you an XLOOKUP function. In this case, XLOOKUP has one, two, three, four arguments. There could be more. I'm going to click on the FX button, the function button, which show you there. So here we have the three mandatory arguments, which in truth are the ones which are really required. What is the lookup value? The lookup value is indeed the minimum value in column B. You've just seen that already in cell E2. We've then got a lookup array, and that is the same column B set of values. But we want to return the corresponding quote number, the return array value, of course, is in column A. You can see already the formula result there is 1009. So there you have it, a nested XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP upon its many other beneficiary functions and features has this advantage over the VLOOKUP. The XLOOKUP can take any column in an array and provide a value to the left of it or to the right. The VLOOKUP, as you may remember, has to match against the first column in a table array. We do hope you'll find time to look at some of our, some of our other XLOOKUP features and examples on our website.